Markets have become far more volatile, which for us as communications uh, consultants means that we need to be much faster, much more flexible and very careful in managing the expectations uh, towards the uh, target groups uh, that are relevant. I think that uh, social media in financial communications um, is a very powerful tool to communicate better with retail shareholders, with private investors, pointing uh, a, a vast group of, of shareholders and also potential shareholders uh, to news that can be found on uh, the company's website, uh, to uh, uh, phone conferences, etc. Uh, via social media. Um, is, is a powerful tool to um, improve the level of information um, for the shareholder base. People think that banks still will do what is not forbidden. I think what they have to do to reinstall their reputation um, is to simplify their business model, um, to become very transparent in uh, explaining it, they need to allow their people to say no to a deal. When the buyer is from, from, uh, from an emerging market, um, we see a number of uh, challenges in communications. Number one is that we act in uh, very different regulatory environments uh, with very different rules, with very different um, disclosure uh, requirements, which makes it quite, quite difficult sometimes. More so, um, we see that um, if the buyer is not well known uh, by the target company and the market of the target company, um, it needs to explain what it does, where it comes from and which rules it complies to uh, um, very thoroughly. Well, the democratization of the web um, has uh, had less influence than one would think. The reason is that before an IPO, uh, the, the, uh, the legal framework is so tight that you are uh, uh, allowed to post information only behind a, a so-called firewall. However, um, the fact that most media are online and uh, most media send their messages 24-7, uh, we need to be much faster in reacting to what's being said uh, and, and we find the news on the internet rather than in the paper the next day. What we advise our clients to do is that with the day of the listing, you have the right financial communicators in place, which is the investor relations officer, and also uh, somebody um, in the press department that speaks financial. What we often do is train those people prior to the IPO so that they're really up to speed uh, when the listing has happened. They need to have the right materials, which is uh, uh, annual report, which is the internet um, that needs to be best in class um, uh, from day one of the listing onwards.